Well, here at 9 o'clock, let's get to our top story this morning. The fact that today marks one year since the mass shooting at the VTA rail yard in San Jose. That's when nine people were killed after a disgruntled employee opened fire. And employees and families of the victims came together for a ceremony earlier this morning to honor those who died. And Crown Force Will Tran has been out there this morning following that story for us. Will? And James, just like exactly 365 days ago, lots of tears and hugs at the VTA, VTA rail yard, which is right behind me. One year ago, this place was a crime scene, locked down with dozens of Santa Clara County Sheriff's deputies. Instead, they were there this morning. They were part of the first responders, but they were there to make sure that everybody got into the rail yard just fine. In fact, let me show you some video. This ceremony wrapped up at around 7:10 in the morning, but they actually showed up at around 5:30 or so because many of them came from great distances and also because of parking problems. They actually had to be bussed into this area. There were dozens of family and friends and of course, colleagues that showed up to the rail yard. Here's video of that ceremony. This took place deep inside the rail yard, took place at 6.30 in the morning. Not an accident, James. That's the time when the gunman came into the rail yard, burst into a union meeting, and started opening fire on his fellow co-workers, ultimately killing nine people before the Santa Clara County Sheriff's deputies, which is literally about a hundred yards away. They sprinted to the scene. They got into the area, surrounded him, or at least got close enough to him where he felt cornered, and then ultimately he took his own life. A lot of people still obviously remembering what happened, their family and friends and colleagues of theirs. Got a chance to talk to them on their way out. Very kind of them to stop and talk to me. Here's what they had to say about one year later. Can you believe it's been a year? I mean, so much no. has happened. No, I can't. It's um, it's just it's uh, gone by really fast. And um, but then in other ways, the healing part of it, it's it's not been really fast. So it's um, it's just it's a lot to take. It's gonna take a very long time. Um, and we just wanted to be here for each other and show our love and support. Okay, James and our viewers, I want to show you how close the deputies were. You are seeing a live shot. You see that gray building right there? That is the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department. Those officers were there. Many of them were on patrol. We'll move the camera. They heard the shots. They got the 911 call at 6.30 in the morning. They sprinted down to this location here. In fact, I see a lot of them pulling into their own parking lot for the deputy's office that's the rail yard look at how close it is to this particular scene here obviously the shooting so traumatic that it took a long time and many of them will admit things are still not back to normal three months it was so traumatic three months that's how long the rail system the rail service was offline and then there was a building and we did this story a couple of weeks ago james you might recall that there was a building where a lot of the shots rang out so traumatic for the the co-workers to come back there that VTA ultimately decided let's demolish the building let's start new too many bad memories at that particular location many people said this was a good ceremony obviously it's a good chance for them to cry to hug and obviously to remember those no longer with them back to you and hopefully to heal even if just a little bit thank you very much will at 904